Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily for this week's instalment of Euro Transfer Talk, where we round up all the best rumours and gossip from across the continent in this neat little video just for you. Tables are starting to shape now as we head towards the winter months, and clubs are starting to plan for the second half of this campaign. As always, if you hear any rumours that we've missed, let me know or tweet EFD Squad with the hashtag Transfer Talk. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's get into it. We start this week in the Spanish capital and the home of big money transfers, where Real Madrid have reportedly made Jadon Sancho their number one target next summer. The Englishman tops Florentino Perez's wish list, along with RB Salzburg's Haaland, both of whom are prized by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in England too. Borussia Dortmund, as we're sure you are well aware, will be holding out for a fee in excess of 100 million euros for their number seven. And it's obvious to see why Los Blancos would want the 19-year-old, who has eight goal involvements in just 540 minutes of Bundesliga action this season so far, averaging out to one every 67 minutes. Since the beginning of last campaign, Sanjo has been attempting 1.3 shots, 1.9 key passes and 3.1 dribbles each game. Each of these would rank in the top five of the regular players in Real Madrid's squad. But it's actually been a tough week for Sancho. He didn't feature in Dortmund's 1-0 victory over tabletoppers Monch and Gladbach at the weekend after facing disciplinary action. Despite his sensational form, the Dortmund boss dropped him as he arrived back from international duty with the Free Lions almost 24 hours late. This was a costly move by Sancho as it also saw him find one week's wages believed to be around €100,000. Nevertheless, Real Madrid are still keen on the youngster, but of course Zinedine Zidane will likely have to shift some of his players to accommodate the Londoner. Gareth Bale and James Rodriguez are the obvious candidates for the cut, at least in their manager's eyes, but Lucas Vasquez and the off-forgotten Isco could also be sold. Then of course there's the youngsters like Rodrigo and Diaz, who could all see game time cut if Perez manages to pull off this transfer. But what do you guys at home think should happen? Should Real Madrid sign Jadon Sancho, or should they keep the talent they already have? Let us know in the comments below. However, the rumours are that Zidane might not even last that long with his employers having allegedly made contact with former boss Jose Mourinho. Real Madrid did of course lose at the weekend, seeing El Clasico rivals Barcelona leapfrog them to the summit of La Liga. Despite holding that top spot in Spain for three weeks, Perez is exploring the option of replacing the Frenchman with the Portuguese coach, who has been out of employment since being ousted from the Manchester United dugout 10 months ago. In his previous stint in Madrid, Mourinho won 128 of 178 matches for a win percentage of 72%. That's the second highest of any manager in the club's history to last at least a year in the job, as well as being the highest in his career. As for Zidane, this talk comes off the back of poor performances despite an outlay of well over 300 million euros in the summer. All eyes will be on the bench in Istanbul tonight as Zidane's side faced Galatasaray in the Champions League, a competition Los Blancos haven't won a match in yet this season. But who do you think should be the Real Madrid manager going forward? Zinedine Zidane or Jose Mourinho? Vote in the poll above. Moving on to Barcelona now, where not everything is rosy in the dugout either. The belief is that despite winning La Liga in back-to-back -back campaigns and currently sitting at the top of the tree, only a Champions League trophy will prevent Valverde from losing his job at the new Camp come May. And over the weekend, some interesting news emerged concerning the contract of Ronald Koeman, currently the manager of the Netherlands. There has been a clause inserted into the fine print of his deal with the Dutch that allows him to break his contract and move to a club side in 2020. But the only club Koeman can move to is Barcelona. Now, Koeman's record for sides in Europe's top five leagues is somewhat of a mixed bag, lasting just five months with Valencia in the 2007-08 season before being sacked after just over a year in charge with Everton in 2017. This did come after a two-year spell managing Southampton, in which he guided them to two top seven finishes and qualification for European competition. Since replacing Dig Advocaat as Netherlands boss in early 2018, though, his home nation has seen a revival after not qualifying for two successive tournaments. They've won 10 of 18 matches and are on the verge of Euro 2020 qualification. And of course, Koeman is a Barcelona legend, winning every competition with the Blaugrana and scoring 90 goals in six seasons with the club. He'd certainly appreciate the philosophy if nothing else. But what do you reckon? Should Barcelona replace Valverde with Koeman? Let us know below. Moving across the Mediterranean Sea now and to Serie A, where once again AC Milan find themselves in substantial debt. Despite Elliott's management reportedly clearing the San Siro side's arrears after acquiring the club just over a year ago, they find themselves stacking up bills of close to 150 million euros and may have to sell their stars to balance the books. Unsurprisingly, the name top of the list is Gianluigi Donnarumma, who despite not turning 21 until next year, has already racked up an impressive 171 appearances as the final line of defence in the Rossoneri net. And the club leading the charge to sign the Italian is PSG who also attempted to sign the youngster over the summer before settling for Keylor Navas. Any deal would see Alfonso Ariola move in the opposite direction, much as he did when PSG and Real Madrid made the deal for Navas. 
Another star who Milan are willing to let leave is Suso. The 25-year-old apparently has a 40 million euro release clause, but San Siro Chiefs aren't anticipating netting that fee for the Spaniard. This is down to a combination of their willingness to let him leave and his poor form so far in Serie A. After his performance in the 2-2 draw at the weekend, there are calls from the fans to see him dropped from the starting lineup. Tottenham had previously expressed an interest in signing the former Liverpool Academy player, having a €22 million Euro bid turned down back in 2017. Whether or not Suso returns to the Premier League is yet to be seen, but it doesn't seem like he has much more of a future in Northern Italy. The final name on the move could well be Swiss left-back Ricardo Rodriguez. The 27-year-old has made 91 appearances for Milan since his €15 million Euro arrival from Wolfsburg in 2017, but just four of them have come in this campaign. Rodriguez is still an integral part of Switzerland's national setup. With less than two years left on his deal, Borussia Dortmund could offer him a lifeline back in the Bundesliga, especially after Euro 2020. He might not oust Nico Schultz or Rafael Guerrero for that starting berth, but he'd provide useful cover both there and at centre-back. Across the pond now, and one of MLS's biggest names has dropped a massive hint about his future. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is set to play his first playoff game as LA Galaxy take on Minnesota United this weekend, with the Swede being an integral part of the team, having scored 30 goals in 30 appearances this campaign. The 38-year-old sees his contract with the California club expire this December, hypothetically seeing him able to sign with any club worldwide. The surprise front runners for his signature are Bologna, who are currently sat 13th in Serie A. The Rosso Blues head coach is good friends with Ibra, having been into Milan's assistant manager during the 6 foot 5 striker's stint at the club from 2006 to 2008. However, there is a very real possibility that Ibrahimovic will play his final ever professional game this weekend too, not ruling out the possibility of retirement, hinting he wants to quit America to be closer to his family in his native Sweden. And if he does, it's not been a bad career. 913 games, 542 goals and 31 trophies in seven different countries. Rounded off with unveiling a nine-foot statue of himself in Malmo. And that's the end of Transfer Talk. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and leave a comment below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you hear any good transfer rumours, do let us know. Bye for now.